I'm Kill the Vid. I'm your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and I'm back again with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring L.A. Noir from Rockstar Games. In the previous episode, Cole Phelps, celebrated LAPD vice detective, was, along with his partner Roy Earl, one of the most corrupt LAPD detectives you'll ever meet, were trying to solve a series of attacks done by the Cohen crime family in which several of Phelps's United States Marine Corps World War II veterans were involved in a gang war in which they were systematically killed off by Mickey Cohen's men. But as he was interviewing Courtney Sheldon, Courtney Sheldon Cole Phelps is now demoted for being caught in illicit Congress with someone other than his wife. And it was bad for the LAPD. So as a result, Cole Phelps is demoted to the desk of arson, where, of course, arson is crimes involving fires and explosions. So with Episode, we're continuing on with episode 11, which will, of course, will be two cases, starting with the gas man, followed by a walk in Elysian Fields. So, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab whatever. It's time for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube channel's Let's Play Classic featuring L.A. Noir. Let's get it on. The Gas Man. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. 
I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. That's actor. Social Keith basket cases Zarabachka. like you two should get along just fine. Zarabachka. Biggs will show you the ropes, the Phelps. This is our sons of There are no He's ropes. Been in a lot of stuff. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! We got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Okay, we're off and running, folks. This is Let's Play Classic featuring L.A. Noir, episode 11. Featuring the gas man, morning. followed by a walk-in Elysian So this is my new partner, Herschel God Biggs. He's a bit of a loner from way back. Past his prime, doesn't talk much. Now he does. Strips off me at the grand jury. You know, got thrown out. Now the DA wants my It's pretty rare. So you're the first in this family care. born without a tail. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. Now, those who are not familiar, sorry, for those who aren't familiar with L.A. Noir, it is a detective game for Rockstar Did Action Game from Holland? Rockstar Games, and it came out in May of 2011. To somewhat overwhelming to mix reviews. However, a controversy made it unable for them to come out with a sequel. So, in the case of Arson, the desk of Arson, we go, we investigate and solve fire or explosions. Where if it's How long have you been working for Arson? We can do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. He's also the narrator of the So this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I see you in the first day, you Walking into the station, your chest puffed out like a little kid at his confirmation. You wouldn't give me the time of day. And now you need somebody. And now That's somebody's supposed to be partner. me. Well, it's not well, going to happen. Of course, he's not receiving them. That's quite a speech. Especially I heard you were the strong silent the type. You cracking wise, folks? No, Biggs. I'm breaking the ice. Affair. Just drive, hot German shot. German expatriate uh, communist Elsa Liebman. So he had damaged his career, but at the same time, the LAPD the top brass were covering up their scandals by throwing him under the bus. They needed a fall guy so they could get the attention off of them and put it on Cole Phelps, who was a rising star in the LAPD and now he's a falling star because of the scandal where he was caught in illicit Congress of someone other than his wife. And by the way, the actor who plays Cole Phelps in L.A. Noir, his real-life wife, appeared in the game in the previous episode as Marie Phelps, who throws his luggage out and kicks him out of the home. And that was actress Connie Fletcher, the real-life wife of Aaron Staten, who plays Cole Phelps in the game. He was also famous for playing Ken Cosgrove on the TV series Mad Men, if you remember that. In fact, most of the cast appeared from Mad Men Many of the actors up here in L.A. Noir. Usually as major characters, minor characters, and supporting characters. In fact, Randall Oglesby, who plays Lachlan McKelty, the commander of the arson desk, he was in an episode of Mad Men, at least in one episode. If you don't know if you recognize him or how far back you remember the show. In fact, I'm watching 
old episodes of Mad Men. I'm still in the first season. It ran from 2007 to, I believe, uh, 2012 or 2014. But for some reason, everybody smokes on that show. Almost everybody smokes on that show. I wonder if that was like a stipulation in the contract that everybody has to smoke on that show. Go! What are you doing? Uh -huh. Yeah, I like to see here when Herschel Biggs is mad. This takes place in Los Angeles in 1947. So we're talking uh, 76 years ago. And a lot of the cases were based off of real cases. Including the unsolved, still cold to this day, Black Dahlia case. It's still cold after so there's not been much to go on. Now, the controller I have, is the right stick is kind of uh, wonky. And I guess if you pull on it too much, or if you, you know, it has somehow messes up. I wonder if they make a game controller with a trackball for the looking. I'm pretty sure that would alleviate problem with game controllers have, but most of you play video games, computer games on keyboards, I can't. There's so many buttons. And it's very, very complicated. So do you play controller or keyboard? Type in the chat below. So we're going to go to two houses victims of arson. One is a family that survived because they came they came home and the house is destroyed. The other, not so unfortunate, unfortunately, as you're about to see. And of course, arson is deliberate. Crime of arson is, a, is, is deliberate. That's the purpose deliberately selling setting fires and explosions. Places, businesses, residents, we worry about that. And it falls under the crime of arson. And then, of course, you have what are called your typical run of the mill fire bugs. You can't It's like kleptomania, or what they call pyromania in this case, where they can't help themselves. They just live for setting things on fire and trying to get away with it just for kicks because they get a, it's a power trip. It's cathartic and they get satisfaction out of it. I don't get that. Either. That's just pure, that's just pure evil. For lack of a better word, that's just pure evil. So it's some kind of street crime. I forgot what it is. Here we go. Oh, 211. Just armed robbery. That's what I know what 211 is. That's an armed robbery. This is 11K. We'll handle the call at Main 211 Street. 211 is armed robbery. Which means gun is like the bank of Arcadia. Shooting out. And it's a bank robbery. Paper sack holder. Hands up. off. I'm sick. Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? Two guys made off with about a grand in a paper sack. The bag says he saw him leave. I'm right here, you know. Not much of a witness. Sir, you need to tell oh, us where they went. Now. They hit her for the parking lot. Why well, not? Yeah. Look at that. They just broke into that car. At least they picked the fast car. So did I. Let's catch them. Okay, one traffic stop coming up. We'll get him. At least 
I wouldn't drive into some real land. Not to worry, folks. It's kind of a little long. Oh wait, I see. I can see red on the map. Yeah, we lost. I think I lost them now. Oh, I fucking lost them. I'll try again. So I forgot how many random crimes are in LA Noir. In the recent update. You can actually play L.A. Noir just focusing on the street crimes and not on the cases. Any available unit, meet the officer. 211 just occurred at 253 Main Street. Unit, they have a code 2 identified. These are actual streets in Los Angeles. Want to leave that one in the uniform? That's fine. We got plenty to get out. Oh, we're working on it. Oh, we're going to get When it comes to these shootouts, these criminals are seldom taken alive. But they're taken out instead. Hands up! And just in case people wonder, well, how come they don't read the people's rights? Because the Miranda warning wasn't introduced until 1966. And of course, the Miranda warning states, and I quote, you are under arrest. A target that isn't you there, have the folks. right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. That's what we're going to do. Which means if you say something directly after the officer or you admit your apartment crime, it can be used in a court of law against you. So that's why you say, I want to talk to my lawyer. Second time I failed this case, but oh well, I failed this. Uh, I wouldn't call it a case necessarily because it's just a random crime. The cases are the meat and potatoes of LA Noir, where, in addition to uh, police shootouts, chase car chases, interrogate suspects, witnesses, and other prisoners, and determine if they're telling the truth, lying, or we can take the call. And if you accuse a oh, no. POI of oh, lying, you have to provide evidence. And the evidence, of course, is gathered at the crime scene. Hands off! I'm sick! Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. I would have thought the fence would break. Oh, I nearly ran out. Sometimes if you do skip certain uh, sequences or events in a case, you do miss out on evidence. You miss out on key or supplemental evidence. Any available unit, meet the officer. 211 just occurred at 253 Main Street. Unit to handle code 2, identify. This is 11K. We'll handle the call at Main Street. 11K. Off. I'm sick! Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? Two guys made off with about a grand. Oh, 
Keep it steady and I'll try to flush this tire. K will handle the call at Main Street. 11K, your 211 is at the Bank of Arcadia, 250. Hands off, I'm... I'll go for the tires. That ought to slow the son of a bitch down. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. Okay. Sleep on me, get it close! Took him alive. That's a surprise. Usually they end up at the morgue. That's a first, I guess. An apprehension. Maybe they didn't have a gun. They're dumb criminals. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I know that face. I busted all those Negro drugs. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you're still the talk of the town, but then even with that scandal, the people, NPCs, are going to say stuff about you. Care if you call those. Stephen's House Fire, 10, 10 a.m. Fortunately for them, they were out there. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in her face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's yeah, okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stephen's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. And they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. Well, take a look around. Come on, Phelps. He's the dirty cop from the newspaper. See? Told you. They bring up the scandal. Remember the dead lady they found under the train? He solved the case. Put some bar fly for murder. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Matthew Ryan, Matthew Ryan, Matthew Ryan. Sorry, because their house had been burned down. And I would say on purpose too. You know what? This is no accident. This was no accident. Okay, all clues have been found, so let's talk. Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. <laughs> I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stephens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality. Yeah, we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Don Stephens, eyes blue, hair brown, age 32, sex male, homeowner and arson victim. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? A weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Did you enter any kind of competition? Uh, my wife filled in a flyer. <laughs> Lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. Man, something, something suspect about this whole thing. What do you think, folks? The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money, and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now, my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right.
Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Better use the game well. If I can find out about the suburban development. He wants a five star goddamn wedding. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need information on the suburban redevelopment fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency is established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks for your help. That's the one! About a week ago, this guy murdered his wife and dumped her. That's the cop who put him away. You can drive. Bye. Where are we headed? Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Peter explosion. Yeah, another one? Looks that way. Instaheat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. Mm, well, fuck you, man. But you're a good case, man. One of the All best right. I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair.
Not that the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God. Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere, but little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks, you've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. You can still this guy is a suspected fire mode. Stop! LAPD! We've got an idea on the fire mode. Stop right there! Stop. I can't believe my eyes! There he is. See him? No, I turned off the music. A family died in that fire. We need to ask some questions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you lousy piece of shit. Come on. You're not a fighter. You like to cook people in there. How dare you? I got robots. you now, motherfucker. <laughs> I should mention that the actors' heads are animated separately from their bodies. What's your name? It's another other Herbert actor Chapman. doing the animation. So you like fire? Some the watching them were setting them. I don't want any trouble. There's a behind Turn out the your scenes on YouTube. Uh, how Ellie Noir was made. What do you call motion scan? You're naughty, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito cord. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. I might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fire is cold. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Parson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go search your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm going to make this case. I'm going to rub the department's nose in it. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it? Next, go to the travels
not an armed robbery. Or depending on how far it is, you know, how we're neg on it. Let's go to the chat where you can.
Century, in a 211 in progress, 522 South Hill Street, unit to handle code 3, identify. This is 11K, we'll handle the 211. 11K, Roger, you're 2 Cafe, hold up. I don't like the look of this. You know the drill. Hand over your money to get used to breathing dirt. All right, just take it easy. Quit waving that cannon in my face and let's talk. We're done talking, understand? You got exactly five seconds. One, two, three, four. Decisively and quickly. Man. Any sentry unit, any sentry unit, 211 in progress, 522 South Hill Street, unit to handle code three, 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 identify. <laughs> This is 11K, we'll handle the 211. Can we try not killing the people who pay our salary? 11K, Roger, your 211 is at Booze Brothers Cafe, 522 South Hill Street, 11K, handle code 3. to this and these outfits do have their benefits. Cover! Night, night. Thanks, boss. Down on their luck and end up turning to a life of crime. And at the morgue. And turning up at the morgue. If they're unlucky. Johnny on the spot and did 20 street crime cases. Wasn't even keeping track. Now this time I'm gonna let Big Strong. Yes, Mr. Daisy. 
You know the way. You can drive. We're gonna stop All right. Time. Where to? Now, Keith Zarabashka is from Illinois. Born in Chicago, Illinois. About 1952, 1953. He's been acting since the late 70s. And early 80s. Gulliver's Travel Agency. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Here they are. Stephens. The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. I'm gonna check my So this is going to be true. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Hmm. That's logical. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Well, we uh, no problem. I wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. Let your partner drive, you know, like you bypass the police car. You know, You're street behind car. the wheels. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? Great for sure. alike. And I like to say, if you like what you see, if you like the content I'm presenting, why not follow me here on Twitch at the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube channel and Twitch for more Let's Play Classics featuring L.A. Noir and many other games. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? It's a show. I've got work to do. Sure, buddy.
Thanks for your help. Alicia and her investors in the suburban redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, Leland you're out of your mind. Hmm. Can you drive to this one? So where do you want to go? The fire station on motion. Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. And if you'd like to contribute and like to support the channel, I do have a Patreon. Link is in the description. If you like to contribute, that's okay. It's voluntary. We came as soon as we could. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Reginald oh. Farley. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Mm. Here we go, a puzzle. Folks, let's see what we use first. Go back in there. Damn it. Good, your regulator's in position. Put that back. Didn't mean to grab that. There we go. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. There we go. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. Mosquito. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. A lot of good actors, character actors. You watch the Hammond Galahad fight? It's a mess that was. Anyway, that's the cop who caught the guy. Uh, you got a problem? Now? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? So that's in the yeah, first hour of this stream already. Poke me in the nose. Show? So I'm probably going to go up to three or four. The o'clock. next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. 
You know this Chapman character. As one like we will and loves fire. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. It's the heat factory, 2.36 p.m. This is the company that makes these water heaters. I got a call back for that universal toilet line. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Why is the word abbreviation? Who's the cop who arrested that movie producer? It's about time some of those movie people went to jail. Mm -hmm. They think they're untouchable. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. I've been racing. Eyes brown, hair black, age 52, sex male, insta heat factory manager. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe either. Hmm. Heat services. Are you. these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Hmm. I think you're lying, Rasick. I think. Some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. I can name two of them. What about Matthew Ryan? In Richmond, uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right, he's been in some trouble, I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasick? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hmm. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. I swear, this town's going straight to hell. Operator, give me R&I. Records and information. Putting you through now. Try that again, asshole. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, 
Kuttner, Robert, Limehouse, Albert, Manning, Franklin, Neves, Raymond, O'Brien, Thomas, Ryan, Matthew, Spurgeon, William, Barley, Reginald, Zurich, Stephen. Clemens, Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan, Matthew. Charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. I'm out of here. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? We're currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show them and keep quiet. Oh, I wish I could afford that. Here. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Oh, Susie, you are so bad. <laughs> Clemens is a fellow traveler. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? He plays the saxophone. Oh, and boy, can he get me going. <laughs> The company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Varley has a problem with bugs. No installer. You know that a mosquito a coil mosquito. takes an hour to burn down, Rasick? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Uh -huh. it gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Yeah, you shitbag. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? Yeah, let's get out of here and rob something. I used to be indecisive. Now, I'm not so Did you sure. see his lovely wife and children in the paper? What a rat. Yeah. See? <laughs> Talking about my scandal. Cole Phelps, you know, adulterous liaison. What's this here?
poor guy must be going crazy. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Walter Clemens, eyes blue, hair black, age 26, sex male, instant heat gas. Killer. Knowledge of Barley. You know Reginald Barley? No? Can't say I do. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Huh. Does their work first. Spreads around if you can. Very good. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. <laughs> and she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the oh, ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. It. Sorry about the Rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Knowledge of Ryan. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. You are obviously lying. You and Ryan Evans are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What and proof do you have? And how do you figure that, following wise me guy? to meetings? How do you figure that, wise guy? Let's see here. Clemens Anarchist pamphlets. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. 
He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Got that right. Now let's move on to Reginald Barley. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? At least us two possible suspects. Reginald Varley and Matthew Ryder. Let's start with Varley first. Varley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. World War One, folks. You know, I never fired my weapon. Line of duty. So he's There's up nothing here. to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. That means big I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. Barley's work site. Seven. 16 p.m. LAPD, Varley! You can try Stop to or I'll shoot! Look at him running. You better not get in the car, man. Come on, Varley! You can't keep running forever! Don't even think about getting in that car. Oh yeah, he's doing some dangerous stuff. Walking onto a construction site. Stop, Barlet. You gotta call him Barlet. I gotta call him Barlet. And the rest, Barlet. Oh wait, that's wrong guy. Sorry. Stop, Barlet. I think that's probably how they came up with the name Barlet for this game. You run all the way from Michigan, Reginald. Stop, Varlet! Get out the car, Varlet. Show me your hands! <laughs> he was about to drive out. I just fired two rounds and then pulled a gun on him. Otherwise, he would have gotten away scot-free. Why did you run from us, Varlet? I'm going to take Barlet. a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varlet that Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing yes. so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley? You're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request and for your arrest. arrest. Until then, your guest. Arson? I don't see you, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. Lock him up. For now. Now let's go get You can drive. All right. Let's Where go to? Our, let's go get our anarchist then. Let's go get our charismatic anarchist. We have a quarterback in the NFL named Matt Ryan. Well, this is a Matthew Ryan. Not related. That's for you Atlanta Falcons fans out there. We yeah, don't really get into sports. Full disclosure, full disclaimer. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Oh, yeah, Hold you're trying Ryan. to get away. I said, son of a bitch. The GI's backyard is crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the van. Oh, 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 oh. He's in a company van and he's losing us, Cole. Some partner I got. Oh, shut up, man. Oh, in this channel like I'm targeting young people or people with virgin ears so there's that
guy's backyard is crashing. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the bear. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. He's in a company van and he's losing us, Cole. Some partner I got. Shut the hell up, Biggs. Shithead! Put your hands where I can see them. Why did you run? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you for the of committing a series of arsons. We got two birds in the hand. Now to get to the police station and wrap this up. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. You know the way. You can drive. So where do you want to go? I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland. I think that's in Anaheim. But that didn't come out until 1985. Chronolo uh, chronologically, chronologically speaking, Trying to wrap this case up. And watch this shit. We got a steak ad down on second later tonight. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Varley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Fuck you, Hopkins. Parker. I don't know who'd be worse. Heavens! I'm trying to save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Matthew Ryan, eyes blue, hair brown, age 26, sex male, insta heat gas filter, bitter. Anarchist literature. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. You lie, This is industrial sure. sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hespastos. Insta-heat bought Hespastos? out Hespastos? Them, Hespastos? Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. It's the heat model 70. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a model 70 heater? No, I don't. You lying sack of motherfucking shit. 
If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Your manager, Ivan Rasik, says that factory manager testifies to ease of pressure regulator tampering. Tamper. Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? Out of town. What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. You were charged with attempted murder. Uh -huh. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. Mm. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. But why an insta-heat, though? No. We'll be back. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. You're not off the hook. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, By a long you'll shot. keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go see the other guy. I think Ryan is our man. The procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want Reginald to put Varley, around. suspect. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan at Pinko Fuck Battle. Fuck Ryan! Reginald Varley, eyes blue, hair brown, age 28, sex male, insta heat gas fitter. Work at Sawyer Residence. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? So I this guy to lie Sawyer. about everything. Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. And you're also flat out lying. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Simple. It's the heat model 70 of the Sawyer home has your name listed has your name listed. Mm -hmm. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban? Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweep. I think he played him though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Suburban redevelopment. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> Look at it. He knows you're lying. And I know you're lying. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Well, according to Matthew Ryan's statement, it's, it's, he surmises that you... You have a kick, have a deal going on with uh, Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Brian says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. You got an arranged deal going on. So you can Suburban, see incentives and kickbacks. They got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money. But so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, mm -hmm. electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Insta Heat Model 70. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, 
I did not. You out of your mind? Lying again. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? Well, looking in your locker, we happen to find. Our gifts to use cigarettes and mosquito coils. It's time to lay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on! Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Camping my ass. Um, so what do you think, folks? Is it Varley or Ryan? Right now, I'm gonna lead interrogation. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. I say we right. bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. No, I think it's gonna be Ryan. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. He's gonna shit a chicken. We'll get a steak ad down on second later tonight. I'm about to issue out the charge. Interview one. Oh, that's that way. Shit. Let's go this way. I'm trying to imagine you with a personality. Oh, that's probably shit. Wrong room. No. Must be down this way. Ryan, Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Tell that to the judge, buddy. There's Commander Lachlan McKelty. Play by Randall Oglesby. What you did to your wife and kids was not American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? <laughs> You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson. So, well done. What about me? Will I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. The gas, man. Here are my results. 16 out of 16 clues found. 16 out of 16 questions correct. Valorius. Matthew Ryan fronts the grand jury with four murder charges around his neck. Hmm. Very good. I'm about to take a quick break, folks. Stick around. This is the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and I'll be back with more Let's Play with the conclusion episode. In this case, case a walk in the Elysian Fields. Don't go away.
Okay, I'm back. Once again, I'm killed a bit for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and I'm back again with the second half of Let's Play Classic MLA Noir Gaming Livestream Episode 11. Previously, in this case, I have just finished solving The Gas Man, in which several individuals, one that I charged, is responsible for a series of deliberate house fires and a connection pertaining to the suburban redevelopment fund which supposed to house GI's American servicemen brought back from World War II. But there seems to be something more sinister than that. So we're continuing on with the second case and it's titled A Walk in Elysian Fields. So, let's continue, shall we? You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. I tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. Back at it again. Wow. That sure looks like a beauty. That son of a bitch looks a lot like the cop who pointed his gun at me. An Englishman. I'm praying man. that those prints come what through so I can nail that Arch son of a bitch. Substances. What is it? Some kind of joke? I don't know. We're not building this city anymore. Parker? Green? I don't know who these are. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. You can drive. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Vic? Okay, fuck it. Forget I... I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers.
You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What are you doing? Here to be posed? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Looks like they were praying. You ever think about how many people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. He watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? Got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Uh. Evidence? Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating pigs. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You getting this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors. So this whole contest is a big sham just to get the people okay. out of the houses the so that the suburban Suburban Development Redevelopment Fund people. I haven't done this for At least years. fields people can have the houses you burned down. Seem to be so you don't look like a fireman. Yeah. Sorry. Be working? So it's, a, it's an insurance scam.
and they're really not making home for their DRs. It's just a cash grab, so to speak. I swear, this town's going straight to hell. Rehab is for quitting. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Like this guy is the Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. And this Dr. Harlan Fontaine is a charlatan as well. He's in on this scam, as you'll find out. It's the it's the Looks like the same model. If the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman, Dudley Foreman. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? 
Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. I need more, Mr. Foreman. Tell me what you know about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. I know nothing about it. I've never heard of them. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Elysian Fields developments. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. I've seen people like you, but I had to say admit. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. <clears throat> One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Blades in the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over a legion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. 
Shame about Chapman. The arson desk has been trying to nail that son of a bitch for years. He's still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Bella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Escondido. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Uh -huh. I got a riot going on. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not. This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back, or I'll lock you up for Smart a while. Son of a bitch. Out of their homes, come on, then. I'm gonna right, be back in the We're gonna have to pacify these. Guys. Looks like rock and something ah! robots. Knock him out, uppercut. Oh yeah, you want some too? Bust. Uh. 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 Don't worry, I'll lay you out. Uh. 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 It's time for you to lose some teeth. <laughs> Man, going up the pen. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. What's this? Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage Poor in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. On the cheap. Oh, gosh. Pathetic. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Bye. Where are we headed? So I missed out on one. But I added it. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help? I would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? Ooh. I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. If anyone recognizes this character actor, that's John Noble. He's been in some stuff. 
There was a TV series called like Fringe a cigar. in the late 2000s. Big boy. Sure, I love this guy. But he's also Biggs. the boys, but he's Australian. We're investigating a series of domestic American fires, Mr. Monroe. Character. Terrible boys. How can I help? Recognize those eyes. That's John Noble. Leland Monroe. Eyes blue. Hair black. Age 52. Sex male. President of Elysian Fields Development. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Waybills? I uh, hope I don't bite the bullet with this one. I'm going to have to choose doubt. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Mm. Are that's you saying right. that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Yes. Oh, it is. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? <laughs> <laughs> Promotional travel contest. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm not familiar with that one. You know, you're obviously fucking lying. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Well, I actually do have that ingredient. Your face is all over these flyers and billboards. That's the proof. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. My face is the brand. <laughs> Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Is this guy's eyes You want to accuse them of murder as well? Mm -hmm. This is fool's eyes open up. Huckster at Elysian Fields out with Leland Monroe. So I got an achievement. Local land acquisitions. We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes? So that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. You work That's around them. Right. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the you waste like he's to go to of sleep. history. <clears throat> To answer your question. Like that, you know? Yes, we would build around them if we had to. <laughs> Most people see <should> sex. <laughs> Rancho Escondido fire. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulations. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Does the best include... You're lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Oh, yeah, we can. Poor cement quality. Burnt... Building shows evidence of poor build quality and low grade materials. Poor cement quality. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? Uh, yes, yes. Do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. 
The contractors I use for waybills. You suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it'd be of any help. Yeah, so I can help. throw them under the bus and get me out well, the hook. Ah. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Yeah, sure you are, use. My secretary will spot. provide you with that list. You trickster. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Yeah, so what do we keep Let's breathing on you? Box. In other words, we keep breathing on you. We're out of the job. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Oh, look at this name. Humbug Herbie. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Yeah, we need to bring the little shit in. We need to bring that little shit in. Go put that APB in. Oh, look, there's a phone up there. Shit, let me go back up there. Look, there's a phone. Oh, wait, down there. Uh, your boss is a fine man. Here's what I heard. He's a dickhead. Cops caught the guy who did the dahlia, but they covered it up. Some kind of big conspiracy. Man, if I use your phone, man. Why don't you move in together when we're message not even for KGPL. married? Putting you through That's now. the same woman that was at the motel. She must have two jobs. Phelps badge, 1247. How could I help you? Oh, they actually reuse these actors' You check whether heads. we are still holding a Herbert Chapman. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. Say what? I'm sorry, Detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. So they let the little fire bug out, huh? I love the chase till the minute I win it. This is unintentional. A beautiful face. Do I don't know the name of the song. The content I need is there. Give me your heart, and baby, I'll give it. Full disclosure, I always twitch. Give a guy a break. Right, buy me a drink, Cole. Turn down the damn music volume too. But I have no control over that. See? No. Not even for old time's sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here. I wouldn't give you the pleasure. Now get around to it. Events and She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander was feeling about this. Someone cares about this. To, uh, You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel so about you. Kind of stay away from using life as music. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Terrence. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Oh, Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Roy Earl is telling us to back off. Thanks for the drink, Cole. The officials and of course Elsa's apartment, 844. The message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. And Ellie started making noises TV about my pension. Roy Earl is corrupt as shit. Sorry about that, Virgil. I didn't mean to drag you into this. And the corruption of the ones deep the LA. Monroe was an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. Yeah. Let's make these guys happy. So that we can keep our day. calling car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K on yeah, route. We're gonna get that little shit. Let's go pick him up. Yeah. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. 
but I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know, you like to leave your mark, don't you? Yep, I'm a terrible driver and a menace on the road. What? I am the fire. You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that.
Grand Theft Auto 5, you want people to live with them here. They don't bother me. They don't necessarily get out the way in time. It's, it's kind of funny, but I don't think it's going to bother people in the game. You know, it's humorous, like Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes humor. And so, you rear her somebody off a motorcycle and how far the body flies. You don't do that for life. Chapman's apartment, 9.48 a.m. Four of us dragged it. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. He's out somewhere. There's some kind Let's of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. Hmm. Definitely gives him opportunity. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case that poor lady killed him. Got we should revise the APB. He's clearly armed. Eight bullets. Hold it, Cole. Look. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. He's got a nice Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units, officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. Yeah. The suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar headed eastbound. Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar and driving dangerously. Units to handle code 3 identified. Stay on his asshole. Don't lose him. like a break and slow the thing down. Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Get me closer. I think I got a shot here. Step on it, huh? Get me just a little closer. Get me closer to the driver's oh, cabin. I'll oh, point Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. 
couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? You'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> I'm not a crook. Seriously, I'm not. Oh, wait, I am. That was my Nixon impression. <laughs> what is it? The other one. A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. He worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa. Who knows? They probably killed I'd like him you to off. do something for me. Probably onto I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. They've had an uneasy relationship since the war. Okay. Thirteen out of thirteen clues found. Seven out of eight questions correct. Valorius. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and Elysian Fields to the grave. Well, I guess that just does it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Ellie Noir from Rockstar Games. Now, I'll be back on Thursday with the continuation of this stream for this game. And if you like what you've seen, feel free to follow me here on Twitch, as well as on YouTube. Subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming for more Let's Play classics such as Alien Noir. And if you feel like you would like to contribute to the channel and you feel generous, I do have a Patreon. Link is right in the description. Now, I will be back on later with another Let's Play edition of Mad Max tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till like 10 o'clock. So until then, I'm Kill the Vid for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming, and please stay safe.